But along my path to fixing things and inventing new things, in the beginning, I mostly broke things. <laughs> It's true. In my very first week uh, that I joined the, the lab of Professor, Professor Robbie Berg here at Wellesley, <laughs> I broke our very expensive laser. <laughs> Now, to be fair, I was trying to make it work better, I thought. I was trying to eke out a little bit more laser power out of it when it stopped lasing. <laughs> Instead of more power, I got zero power. I was mortified, but Robbie was kind about it, perhaps even a tiny bit amused, and certainly very encouraging. Not long after that, uh, after I broke Robbie's laser, I blew up an electronic circuit in the lab. To fix the circuit, I needed a very expensive part, and I had to convince a vendor to send me another one at no cost. <laughs> Now, with that kind of start in experimental physics, you would have thought I might have chosen a different career. <laughs> But I didn't. Robbie supported me through those formative and failure-filled experiences. So I thought, okay, maybe I can do this after all. I have a chance at it. And this is one of the gifts that Wellesley has given me. Little did I know that that first taste of doing research, of pushing something to the limits, of having a safe landing after failure would define my career as a scientist. <laughs>